majority of them until fresh start. Um, and I, I think for me, it's uh, it's something that I, I feel like I can really contribute to and be a big part of. And as a group, we can go in that, you know, go into it together. We have a, uh, have a lot of success ahead of us. It was uh, it was pretty normal, but it was a little different. I didn't go to Australia's off season, which I had the last couple of years. Um, I had Tanner a ton. We did we went to Washington. We did a lot of stuff together, and really enjoyed that. And then just you know starting over with a new fresh start with a team uh, and a group of people, learning that you know. So it's it's been a little different, but it's still two months kind of off of you know which in our racing season for 15 years, like it's, it's all pretty similar. Those two months are usually pretty similar. Does Tanner, uh, what, I guess, what does Tanner understand about your job or what does he not understand? So he understands that I race cars. He understands when I, whenever I drop him off with his mom, he thinks I'm flying to a racetrack. Like, no matter what, even if I'm coming here today, he's like, I was flying. <laughs> he thinks I fly in airplanes all the time. Which I fly in a lot, but not, not as many as he thinks. And he loves airplanes. That's his favorite thing by far is airplanes and helicopters. So he sleeps with them. Like they're, he's with them all the time. And um, he thinks that I, because I race cars, that I fly on airplanes all the time. So that's his big thing. What's the difference, Casey, in part of this big 600 employee group or whatever? Then you move to this smaller group. To get used to? Uh, I don't think it's a lot to get used to, but it's definitely a different way of um, our work is going to be, you know, different. Like the way we look at things, the way that we prepare, and my whole mindset is the relationships and doing it together, the chemistry of the group that we have. It's a small group compared to what I've had in the last six years, and it's a group of guys who, uh, a group of people who all we want to go in the same direction and I feel like if we do that and work together no matter what it is to make the 95 the best car that it can be uh, we're going to have success and the guys all feel the same way so that's our plan uh, they're working really hard to get the new Camaro ZL1s ready and we're going to have our first one ready for this test coming up in Vegas next week and uh, we'll get going from there uh, to me Kind of what I was saying about the people and, and building those relationships, uh, working in the right direction. If, uh, to me, if we can do that and keep that morale and that uh, communication all season long, our success is going to be um, we're going to have opportunities to win races and we're going to have an opportunity to make the chase. We're going to run in the top 10 more often with, than what I have in the last few years. And, you know, I think if we can do all those things, it's going to be a very successful season. Casey, Casey, what's your relationship been like with Travis Mack so far, and what what does he bring to the table that you feel like that can make you successful in 2018? Yeah, it's, it's been good. I, like, I've always known the name Travis Mack, but I never knew the guy, really, until know, three months ago, something like that. So now we're, uh, we know each other much better. He has a family, great family, and he's a very um, – he works hard. He's really into racing. He's really into um, – Cup cars and, and being a crew chief, and he's learned a lot over the years. So he brings a lot to the table from his knowledge, and also uh, I think just having a young guy who's you know super excited and enthusiastic and uh, things like that will be really good for for our whole team throughout the whole season. So you seem like the work workaholic mentality. Yeah, he's definitely got that. You know, whatever needs to be done and. And it, it's not starting now as a crew chief. He's had that since he was in the sport, you know, and that's just that's just who he who he is. If if a car needs extra work and he's got to be the guy to do it, he's you know he'll stay as long as he needs to, and that's kind of always been his way. So that'll be really good for for him as a Cup crew chief because the time is there are a lot of time that goes into doing all that. Casey, with your experience uh, at this level of NASCAR, what do you feel that you bring to the team that will, you know, help their performance? Uh, a veteran of the sport, in your in your case. 
Well, just the experience side, you know, from the highs and lows, I've, I've lived both of them a lot over the years. Uh, you know, the cars, understanding what, you know, as a driver, what you need, understanding the things that can hurt you and can help you mm -hmm. from people to, uh, to the way car, the car is driving, you know. So I've just, I've learned a lot of that stuff over the years and put it away and you know I, I think as long as we can all be open t with each other and work in you know their directions my directions and, and combine it all um, it's going to be really successful Good. How, how refreshing was it to be able to go out and do the chili bowl again and get back to that side of what you're doing? Uh, the chili bowl was great it, it always is and uh, it's just a it's kind of an exciting week. It's a it's a fun event, and it feels like it keeps growing. You know, it's a building, so how does it keep growing inside that building when it's always had tons of cars and people? But to me, it just keeps growing. It gets bigger and bigger, and uh, it's fun to see Lee Spencer, Bob Pockers, Jeff Gluck, like these guys that we see at the Cup Track all the time at the Chili Bowl as well, and um, they have enjoying it too, and not just there, you know, like, oh, I got to be here or something. Like, they actually seem like they really enjoy it when I talk to them. So I I feel like it's, it's a breath of fresh air because we've had a couple months off and we want to get back in a race car. And that's the perfect spot to start the year. Yeah, I mean, I've, uh, I've always had the, couple, the two World of Outlaw teams. Uh, we've raced, uh, and, and I love that stuff. But you know, just that type of racing that I came from and learned. So uh, Darren Pittman and Brad Sweet doing that full time. Uh, I plan on racing 20 to 30 races. Um, I'm going to do the first five in Florida, uh, as long as it, it is, as it fits. But um, we'll start there, and then 95 is priority for me. So. You know, figure out as long. You know, make sure that that's all priority, and then from there, I build my schedule as I go. And I hope to get 20 to 30 races, depending on how they all fit in at you know the right times of the year. You're talking enjoying. Is it more enjoyable on some level to race for a smaller team than one of the bigger teams? Um, you know, I haven't. The last time I raced for a smaller team was Red Bull, and I loved it there. I was maybe one of my favorite years I've had in the Cup Series. You know, the other years would have to be with uh, Ray Evernia. But that Red Bull year was was awesome, you know, and I enjoyed it a ton. So, um, you know, th this year I, I would it'd be great if it could feel like something like that where, you know, we're, we start together, we work together, and we keep building it up. I felt like at the end of about halfway through that season, we got to where we were very competitive and we're one of the best cars from that point on. And, um, you know, We'll see how this year goes, but those are things that we want to shoot for, for sure. It seems like every year you guys are chasing on the world outlet. We're chasing Donny Shaw. Fair enough. But you know what I mean. Um, but yeah, what does it take to beat those guys um, on a year-long schedule that runs 90-plus races? Um, consistency and winning more races. We've... Uh, you know, as a as a group, you know, last year, um, my brother he was on the 49. His car with Brad Sweet, they were super consistent and, and so strong in the entire season, but they didn't win quite enough races. So, you know, keeping that consistency, being really prepared, and which KKR does a great job of, and then, um, but winning more races and winning more of the bigger races, and that's. That's something that we need to do. If we can do that, you know, it changes the whole, just kind of changes the whole way it all plays out. And, um, you know, it's, it's tough because Tony wins so much. But, and then if he's not winning, he's second or third. So it's, uh, it's tough to beat the guy, but we're not going to give up. We're going to keep trying. How important was it to grab Ionni for Pippen's car and then for Evan to step up full time this week? Because you guys, at the end of last year, yeah, I was, you know, we, we lost um, great clips, and I was committed to Darren Pittman and told him that, you know, he had a two-year deal with me, and this year was part of that. So we went into this year with zero sponsors for his car, 
and I was running him regardless because I made that commitment to him. And to get eye on me on his car now for, I think, 40 races is uh, is awesome. And, you know, it's we're excited. The car looks great. They're excited. And, uh, and Darren's, Darren's in a great place. So um, hopefully we can really build something from here. The Napa deal with Brad is unreal to, to have that and know that they're going to be with us for a couple more years. And, um, you know, that's such a neat deal to, to go – they race all over the United States and a lot of places that NASCAR and NHRA doesn't go to, so that helps a lot of their stores and, and the guys that you know come to North Dakota or South Dakota, these different different racetracks that they normally wouldn't get to see racing. So the Napa side's great, and my car is always Bargain Outlet, which um, you know we've been great friends with Mark Butler for a long time. Opened up a lot of all these grand openings. Um, their stores are, are growing like crazy and. Uh, looking forward to running the yellow, the yellow paint scheme all year. Casey, you won Indy last year. How big of a relief was that to finally, you know, win a race? And then this year, that event has been dropped down to be the uh, last qualifying race for the Chase. Any thoughts on that? Yeah, I mean, to win Indy was, uh, you know, it was just, it was nice. We'd been, I've been close there since I came in to. To answer your questions, Casey Cade is driving for Levine Family Racing in 2018, car number 95. Just had to go to the back towards the end. Every year we've been in the mix there, and uh, so to finally win it was was a great feeling. Uh, I'll carry with, that with me forever because that'll be one of my biggest wins I get in racing. And um, to move the race to win it, I mean, I, I was like barely alive after that race I was so worn out and it's because of how hot it is you know and, and the cars are hot and how hot it was outside and humid and to sit in the grandstands has to be probably worse so to move it and hopefully give some of these fans and people that are actually attending and trying to watch a NASCAR race um, an opportunity to maybe enjoy it will uh, I think is, is a good thing was that, the mo- was that the most exhausted you've ever been after any race? Yeah, yeah, it was. I mean, I've been pretty bad after some races, but not uh, not at that level. You know, that stuff with me through, like, Wednesday, Thursday before I started feeling. Thursday was the first day I started feeling, you know, really good again. Wow. So, yeah, it was tough. It was, I don't think I've ever been that dehydrated. You said repeat winners. Was that being the last race?